All right. Hey, what's up? It's Antonio, and I'm here with Kurt. And Kurt. actually, uh, Kurt has been doing photography since when? Uh, about 82. Oh. Well, actually 80. So you've On seen, my own since 82. And you've seen basically every transition of every like trend or every like popular um, camera that's been going on. So you've shot with everything. At shot with, yeah, just about film, uh, Lamias, Rolleflexes. That's <laughs> see. This is a Hassie Blad. This is a true photographer. Old timer. Like you, no, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I was just going to say a true photographer that understands lighting like to a T. I, I think. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your business, about what you do? Uh, right now, I do school business, uh, senior pictures, underclass pictures. Uh, we do sports teams, sports individuals, and we do uh, business headshots sometimes. There you go. So, um, as you guys might know, I, I do uh, commercial, I do fashion, and I do headshots. But you know, I still find myself asking like Kurt um, for tips all the time. He knows some um, some like little like hacks and shortcuts. Like I think I was still really blown away about what you do at the studio mm -hmm. with the with the rope on the lights. Oh, string in the lights. I think to me that was just so genius because it's like, oh, well, of course, um, you I think, know. I think that's old Hollywood. <laughs> But it, but it's perfect because you know if, if you guys use strobes, if you guys Cut. use strobes, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Fix that and edit. <laughs> if you guys use strobes, you know that obviously the inverse square line, you how you lose light. You know even if just a foot, you'll already Correct. lose uh, some light. So he puts a string to the um, to the light stand, and basically at the end of that string, everything's that's you shoot there. As long there, as you say within that string, your exposure will not change. Yeah, and. It's such a like it's a no brainer when you when you think about it, but something that you just don't. At right. least for me, I didn't think about that, and I, I don't know exactly. things like that yeah. are things that help me a lot. Meter at once, and then move it wherever you want. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. How did you um, like? How do you feel like as the times change and the trends change? How do you adapt to those things, or how do you? I just try to change. I listen to the guys that work for me, like yourself and Adrian and stuff, with ideas on what's happening, and I just try to, I'm a slow to change, but I do change. I'm still kind of the classic kind of photographer, but yeah. formal portraits and stuff like that. Things have gotten very casual over the years. Yeah, so like with like natural light I, yeah, or with blown out backgrounds. Light. Yeah, and that so sort of it's something thing. I've had trouble adjusting to, but I'm accepting it. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, no rules and posing and stuff like that. People are getting all kind of wanky and crazy. So. Yeah. But that seems to be the trend. So. But I mean, for a business that's been going on since the '80s, mm -hmm. I mean, that's yeah, that's, that's something good. to say. Yeah, that's because good. like a lot of people, I mean, it's hard to have a steady f a stream of business in photography. Right. Yeah. And to be like a trusted name for you know multiple schools for multiple. Yes. Uh, yes. And most of our business of is word of mouth. We don't really advertise or anything like that. Right. So it's all but word of mouth. Where are you guys based out of? Anaheim, California. Oh. There you go. And um, I don't know um, anything that you'd like to say to uh, the kids at home or the newer generation of photographers. <sighs> I know a lot of people worry about gear and what's. Yeah. Like, well, I, I just say you, you know. Uh, do it in the camera and spend less time in Photoshop. Just shoot it right, meter it right. There you and go. And don't, don't use the expression, I can fix it in Photoshop. Yeah. Shoot it right. Yeah, no, and it's right. It's true because especially when you have like high volume work, I mean, what's typical uh, for a school, like per shoot, how many, like, how many kids do you photograph? Uh, it depends on what we're doing, but for like an underclass shoot where we're shooting the ninth through senior ID photos and yearbook photos, we'll shoot a thousand kids in a day. Oh, yeah, so imagine. 1,500. Seniors are different. They're, they're scheduled 20 to 30 minutes apart in studio, so. So imagine doing Photoshop on every single one. Exactly, of yeah. exactly. Like, it's, it's just not profitable to do Photoshop on every frame you shoot, yeah. so. And um, I mean, I think that's basically time for us, but uh, thanks again, Kurt, for hey, taking time out of your day. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.